Don, did you ever get managed by Freddie Blassie, or was it just Lou and the Wiz? No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't managed by Fred. I was the Wizard. Then I was with Lou. I started with the Ernie, you know, who was Greg's uh, Greg's uh, Greg yeah, Ernie for a long time. Ernie yeah, was a great and Lou. And Lou. I was, I was with Lou. Ernie. Then I was with Lou. Then I finished up with Food. Well, then I actually was supposed to go to Billy Graham, but then we went to Europe and. Yeah, so I started, thinking, I started drinking my own beers, and that was the end. The end of the rock. The rock turned to sand. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. So we, yeah, that was, I, I sure would have liked to have done that, done that angle. Um, then Jimmy Hart, you were already gone when Jimmy Hart came in, right? Mouth is. Uh, He's a good man. Jimmy's a good oh, man. I see him. Uh, I see him all around. He God, that, that guy works. He, he works. Must work twenty five hours a day. He's. I, I see him on podcasts. I see him on. I mean, he, he pops up all the time. You know. And uh, does he have he Has he ever had heat with anybody? I, 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 no. Maybe down no. in Tennessee back in those days and those. Yeah. One, those, one person. Those, person one person. Jerry Lawler. Because, uh, uh, really? because no. oh, the old story is right, uh, and I was reminded of this recently. Is Jerry broke his leg? He's playing flag football or whatever. But then they said like Joe Leduc did it on TV. But then uh, Jimmy, and then he, and then Lola was going to be out for months. And then Jimmy Hart went on television in an interview and said, "What do you do with an old horse when it can't run anymore? You shoot it." Oh God. And then uh, apparently the next time Jerry came back to TV, you know, his legs healed. The first time he's in a match with him or J uh, Jimmy's on the outside, he blindsides him and breaks his jaw. Like the first punch straight through breaks his jaw with one punch. With Jim Jimmy oh. Hart? Yeah. Jaw? Appar apparently I, Jimmy I won't admit it anymore. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy won't admit it publicly and neither will Jerry because they're both in business together. But that's the oh. story. I never heard that story before. Neither have I. Uh, well, that was quite a must have been quite a punch because uh, Jimmy Hart's about 135 soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I never heard that story. Are you <laughs> sure that's true? Uh, Dutch has told me, and someone else has told me that as well. Uh, Dutch Mantel, who was in Memphis at the time, so uh, take it for what it's worth, but that's well, apparently what it was. Okay. Uh, with um, the Dutchman, the Dutchman. Um, with uh, uh, just speaking about Jimmy, and you said he works twenty five hours a day. Is it twenty five hours a day? And he's always upbeat. He's like always on. Yeah, I've never seen him down. I mean, this guy, he never wears. He never runs out of gas. He never wears out. I used to. We used to split a room a lot of times when when we were together, um, and if we had a seven o'clock flight or something. I remember this one. We had a seven o'clock flight. We could see the damn airport from our window where we were sharing a room together. And <laughs> we go to bed early. Jimmy's up at four o'clock in the morning, blow drying his mustache and his beard and his hair. Oh my gosh, Jimmy, what the hell? The we don't have to be there that early. I, I remember that. <laughs> he was too much. Inter never that was a magic thing. Fuji's Fuji's at the airport an hour ahead of time too. Yeah, but then he'd get on an airplane and he'd sleep. He would just sit there and yeah, he he could sleep. he get his sleep in somehow. I can't sleep on airplanes. Mm, but, me neither. Me, uh, with uh, who of all the managers you've had, who? Acted most like a like a real life manager behind the scenes as well, you know, like I don't know, help sort out the renter cars or manage the schedule or anything well, like that. The Grand Wizard, the Grand Wizard, and Jimmy Hart. Yeah, yeah. So what would they do? Well, the Wizard would just, you know, he he would always tell me what's going on with Vince, the old man. That's when the old man was running it. And so he was like a real manager. He'd say, well, Greg, you're going to do this and that. You know, he'd give me the insights. Now, Jimmy Hart would, uh, he would always be with me. And, and as far as the interviews go, 
he would just lead the intro and then he'd he'd give me the the rest of the interview. He never tried to take away my interview time. A lot of managers back then did that. Yeah. You know. They would they would talk, but there was guys, you know, like Freddie Blassie and stuff. There was guys that they they put Freddie Blassie with guys that really couldn't talk. So Yeah, him and Lou. Part of the reason they did that, you know. Uh, speaking of Lou, I know Lou managed both of you. Uh, I'll ask this Dom first, but right. uh, what's the what's the funniest Captain Lou behind the scenes story, Don, that you can remember? It always involves drinking. I know that. Oh, it would have to be the the the, the, the King's Table there in Al- in Allentown. That, that oh, meal. I was just going to say that where where they had the dinner. They had the dinner after the, the first- lobster tails. Yeah, after the after the first day of of ta- tapings, and we would go to whatever that restaurant was. Oh my God! And Lou would get so drunk. He would get fired. It would he'd get fired. He get fired Wednesday night. Yeah, and, and he'd come in like a like a puppy dog. The next day, senior would hire him back. Yeah, <laughs> you'd, you'd hear he the, the payoff. Skull would be be walking around. And 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 you know the be, be you know, the managers would be catching up for the during the week all the the spot shows and the house shows we did, and you'd see Blue would have his bottle of vodka with eighteen glasses around vodka oh water God. vodka soda vodka 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 this, and you'd hear after a time you would get the payoffs and you'd hear Lou you would start hearing Lou that son of a bitch that Irish mother. Man. <laughs> no good, that, 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 that. So next thing you know, he's been hey, out, you're out, you're fired. Yeah. And the yeah, next I, day I he's was back, you know. all that stuff. That was unbelievable. And and he would Vince would get mad at him. The old man, he'd fire him. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was some that was some but that was he was sitting I remember he was sitting the top with his shirt open. The rubber bands through his cheek and everything. He had a lobster tail in each hand, and he's he's just d- dipping them and e- eating them like ice, ice cream cones. Uh, <laughs> he, you know, just and you know, yeah, yeah, cocksucker, yeah, you know, you know he's oh, telling God. everybody, oh, oh God, oh, unbelievable. But away from the business, he's like a puppy dog. But that's classics. I I'm glad you brought that up. The King's Table. Oh man, who would be sat on the king? I mean, Vince Senior, Vince Junior. Who else would be sat there? And then Wizard would be right next to him, and then Gorilla Monsoon would be there. And uh, then I was always invited. Sergeant Slaughter was there. Morocco was there. <coughs> Just different guys, but mainly that crew. They didn't invite everybody, you know. Depend who you got. Yeah, if you're, you got a you got an invite for that night or not. Yeah, you had to be invited. <laughs> Lou would go whether he got invited or not. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm glad you brought that up. That's some good memory. 